this is a loss as well. Um, losing the, the uh, half a semester is considered a loss. So I will definitely keep you posted. up everyone welcome back to my channel road to phd on kim's take on health tv where i aim to inspire and encourage black women in stem my name is kimberly i'm a junior at howard university i study nutrition and minor in chemistry and i plan on getting my phd so come on just journey with me I am filming this in the middle of the COVID-19 coronavirus crisis especially um, affecting college students i am horridly um, abruptly any other synonym you can think of like of not knowing that you had to pack up so quickly and leave and go home all that stuff I'm in the middle of that right now I go to Howard University as I said and I'm not gonna get into the politics of that I just wanted to I was honestly just not sure if I wanted to film this to be honest I just knew that this channel was to show my journey getting my PhD and I think this is such a um, a pivotal moment in academia a lot of students going home learning remotely i'll be learning remotely and i'm not sure how that's gonna work because i'm currently studying for um you know to get a become a registered dietitian excuse me my hands shaking because i don't know where my tripod is it's somewhere in the mess of my room that i am currently packing um, but nonetheless it's uh, a lot because i have to do a lot of clinical hours and i have no idea how i'm going to do that online and they're talking about extended semesters etc i really don't want to get into that i just wanted to do kind of like a pack with me but the room's a mess i don't want to show that but more so of like if your school is going to experience this in the future how to plan even though it's kind of hard to plan but like what to do like take inventory of certain things how to start packing up how to deal with the stress and the tears and like the multiple emails and the calls from your parents and your your friends checking in on you and your friends leaving and just having to say goodbye to a lot of people that you love and have called family for a while and if you're a freshman i'm so sorry if this is happening to you if you're a senior i am so sorry if this is happening to you I leave a comment down below if your school has asked you to leave campus and what school you go to and how that went for you i'd love to know so currently this is what I have. The box on the right is labeled immediate access because these are things that I'm gonna need as soon as I go home. Um, I usually don't have an immediate access box, but because I'll be living at home indefinitely, I need an immediate access box. The other one is um, just some clothes and the big suitcase on the left has shoes and winter jackets separately of course and the small suitcase has all shoes so I'd say I'm making progress things on my wall this was a campaign um, poster that I had printed and a quote that and then here's another one ah. pull, 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 pull. aha see that was a clean takedown and this is my prophetic word of the year that God gave me consistency so I'm just gonna take this down this one was just regular 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 tape i also have to take this down it was painted by my friend l and it's just really beautiful i'm really grateful that he made this piece for me so the downside of having to move out so quickly is that a lot of college students already had a lot of groceries that they had bought some because of the coronavirus some because um like personally i just don't like leaving my room to go grocery shopping that often so i usually stock up and then it so happened that the world panicked or america at least so 
I'm literally bringing all this home with me because we're driving as opposed to flying so I'm not gonna let it go to waste and they're non perishable so yay She's all moved out and it's easier for me to clean and sweep the floor and everything um, by putting stuff in the other room so I'm about to box I'm about to tape these boxes and then these are some book stuff um, uh, those bags there's like stuff I'm bringing home for immediate access you know so just this is what it looks like when it's all done if you bought a, a printer to college, I highly recommend keeping the box. Um, this way, every time you bring the printer back and forth, whether it's to tor storage or your home, you can, um, you know, tape it and have like the perfect box for the printer as opposed to trying to make it fit into another box. spring 2020 i'm so sorry again i would just say like keep calm hold your head up finish the semester as to the best of your ability as you can in my semester we only have about six weeks left so it's it's nice to know that it's going on but i understand that it's a completely different working environment it's a completely different work environment and like you know the the library is not there the printer availability is not there like printing 300 pages now is going to be a lot harder right and just the motivation might not be there and the responsibilities at home might be more prominent but i urge you to keep the faith and keep going be um as strong as you want to be i don't like telling people to be strong i prefer them to say feel your emotions if you're grieving grieve everyone grieves differently and if you want to learn how to wow your interviewers in an online or an e-interview due to the coronavirus or um, anything else stick stay tuned for my next video it will be up on sunday and because i upload on sundays this is a special video um this one is not uploaded on sunday so just just do that and watch the video and, and come back with pointers if you're a black woman instead make sure you subscribe um thank you so much for watching if you are into achieving food freedom and 
um, you know, overcoming emotional eating, check out my blog, www.kimstakeonhealth.com. I keep telling everybody that because this will be updated shortly because I am trying to make sure that I give you guys the right information. If you're into STEM and pop culture, make sure you follow my mentee Jasmine's podcast in vivo. It is linked in the bio. Make sure you hit that notification bell and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you health and happiness. Thank you for joining me on this journey, PhD roadies, and I'll see you on the road.